Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video I will be testing some new releases from Beauty Bay which I thought you guys would obviously want to see because they haven't really released these type of products in a singular form in a very long time and I kind of just wanted to test them out. So in today's video I will be testing out the new Beauty Bay bronzers, highlighters and blushes. <music> So the bronzers and blush retail for £6 each and the highlighter retails for £5.50. I did pick up one of each of the bronzer, highlighter and blush is because I'm obviously not every tone that there is and there was no point in me buying every single one. It just would have been a waste of money and it wouldn't have fitted my skin tone. So makeup right now, I've literally just got foundation, concealer and powder, just brows, lashes and lips if you're wondering what the lashes are that i am wearing right now are the doll beauty alexandra lash which i think they're very pretty and i quite like them so let's go on to this video before i get into this video i just kind of want to tell you a few more things about the products and what they look like and everything basically so first we're going in with the highlighter i got it in the shade flash which is the lightest shade because the second lightest just seems it would like be a bit too dark on me so I obviously didn't get it they come in this packaging which is it's very lightweight and I think it's quite like cute packaging I'm not gonna lie you get how many grams in the highlighter you get 4.1 grams but in the blushes and bronzers in the same component you get 6.5 which I don't understand how that works but yeah this is the highlighter and this is a flash on the back of the highlighter packaging it says a lightweight highlighter powder that delivers a smooth pigmented finish blendable and buildable this is versatile highlighter can be used to create a variety of looks from from soft subtle shimmers to bold blinding effects so that's the highlighter next is on to the bronzer the next one is the bronzer I got in the shade Beach, which is the lightest shade that they do. I, it looks a tiny bit too dark. I wish they did go a little bit lighter, but we'll just see if it's like really pigmented or if it's just a bit sheer that you can buildable. That's very buildable. This has 6.5 grams. This retails for six pounds. And on the back, it says a silky bronzer to give you that sun kissed feeling all year round. The blendable formula seamlessly sweeps over the face, leaving to definition and dimension that lasts from dusk till dawn your packaging i think is very sleek i quite like the packaging it's very lightweight so i'd quite like to take this away because it honestly feels like nothing so this is the bronzer and let me just show you guys up close so then you know what it looks like i think the hardest part of this video is honestly opening these packages like just don't open i got this blush in the say in the shade coral which is i think there was a pinky tone that would have matched my skin tone and i very much do like pink blushes like they are my favorite but i did actually just want to try out like a coral blush to see if i'd like that too so then i can like widen my range of like what blushes i do like and add some new favorites into my collection this is what it looks like up close now i have shown you guys each one of the blush highlighters and bronzers i do want to put these onto my face as i am not looking very defined right now the product doesn't come with a mirror like for the price of it it doesn't really matter but i quite like mirrors in my bronzers because i don't want to take a separate mirror first i am going to go in to the bronzer I'm literally just going to dab in the lightest part the first bit and just tap off like the excess just to see what color is and if i need more i will definitely add more do you know what it's not that dark it looks a lot darker in the pan than it does on my face which is actually really good this is the morphe brush from a collection that is very like dense and i really like it for bronzers because it blends out very nicely and it hugs my cheek which is actually really good do you know what it's a really cute color Usually I choose something the tiniest bit cooler, like a bit like of a neutral shade bronzer, 
like definitely bronze but with like a cool side to it so I don't contour so I usually do that but this is definitely a cute little bronzer moment I'm just going in on my nose this is how I contour because I like it very blended so I just basically just use the edge of the brush and just kind of go in do you know what this does my nose really good and I quite like how it looks I'm just gonna put a tip on the tip of my nose just here and my other favorite places to put bronzer is definitely on the chin I have had recently a massive breakout if you would have seen on my Instagram story um, after I tested Shein makeup the day after my skin had totally broken out because of the foundation and concealer that the oils from it I don't know just didn't agree and I started to break out all over my face all over my forehead and everything I didn't enjoy that so that's just a quick little update on that this is blending really well I quite like the color as I said if it was a tiniest bit cooler, I think definitely would be a new fave. Like this is my preferred shade and this is the shade that this is. So if you can see, there's a very much like cool tone-ish to this and there's a very warm tone to this. It says sunkissed as it describes it on the box. It does give you a very sunkissed look, which I quite like. So yeah, it does stick to what it says. So now I am all bronzed up. The next thing that I want to try out is the coral blush. I'm very excited because I've never actually used a blush this colour before. So I definitely am very like intrigued to see how well it looks on my skin. So yeah, that this is the shade. It definitely looks a little bit too dark. I'm going to go in. I'm just going to start off with a smallest amount and then build it up because I don't want to look like a clown straight away. So I'm just going to tap my brush, literally just, just tap off the excess a bit. I hit it too lightly when I tried to dab my brush in. That's such a cute colour, like look at the difference. I just, this is where I like to put my blush. I always like to over blush, like that is straight off me. I like to put the tiniest bit over my nose bridge and like on the tip of my nose so cute do you know what i'm into it as you can see they're blending very well together with the bronzer i actually really like it that's definitely one of my faves in this haul by far i think i prefer that more than the bronzer the bronzer is very good but i am a blush gal like i love blush oh my god that looks so pretty that literally looks amazing and i love it about this blush i love it i love the color i thought i wouldn't like the color as much because when it first arrived it was a lot darker than i thought it'd be but i actually really like it like it's so cute it's so blendable like six pounds for 6.5 grams as well like that's a decent size the packaging's cute this is also cruelty free and vegan which is really good as well i absolutely love that it's definitely going to be going into my makeup bag the bronzer i'm really impressed with like i'm genuinely impressed with this so far so the last thing that i'm going to be trying out with you guys today is the flash highlighter this is the lightest shade that i was able to get i'm going to add this to my face i am going to spray my brush though because i do like my highlighter very much popping and i want to see what it looks like without spraying my brush and with it with spraying my brush with setting spray a random one and just spray it shake it about a bit give it a little bit of a blow <laughs> sorry i'm really dirty minded as i've hit it it's kind of gone darker where i've hit i don't know what that's about but anyway this is where i need the mirror so I want to see what I'm doing, but I'm having to go back and forth, which I'm not liking, but that's the only like bad thing. Damn, that is blinding. Oh my God, that looks so pretty. Like, look at that. Next cheek, I'm gonna go in with a dry brush, like it's completely dry. So I'm just gonna put my brush in there, as you can tell. 
it's dry because it's come on completely powder. So I'm going to try it without the setting spray and we'll see what it looks like. Do you know what? It's not as like blinding. Do you know what? I think if you build it up, it's still as blinding. I do prefer it with a little bit of setting spray though. Like I always prefer all my like highlighters with setting spray. I don't know, it just feels like it clings to the skin a bit more. It looks so much prettier. Because I like a lot of highlight. That's just me. And that's okay. So we're just gonna pop the highlight by just running the edge of the brush across my nose bridge. And then it catches whatever highlight I've put on the brush right there. And then it just hits and glows. Ooh. That looks so pretty. And right on the tip of my nose. It's more of like a pinky undertone. I feel like it's definitely blended with the bronzer and the blush very well. It's more of a pinky undertone though. There isn't like a gold undertone. I do quite like a champagne colour blush highlight. Okay, so I'm just going to dip into that and just pop it onto my inner corner. I don't really need a mirror for this because I can just kind of predict where it is me that just bumps into my lash. I keep picking this up as if it's got a hot it's got a mirror in it. So that is my face using the bronzers, blush and highlight from Beauty Bay's new collection. Do I think they're worth it? For six pounds for the bronzer and the blush, absolutely yes, yes, yes. The highlight five pound fifty, yes, I'd still buy it if it was six pounds like the rest. I'm a bit confused why to be honest you do get less product in this. I don't know if the, no, the components are exactly the same size. So I don't know how they fit as 6.5 grams in the bronzers and blush, but not the highlight. So I think that's why you're paying a bit cheaper because you get less product in the highlight. But that's kind of like my only guess, really. If you're looking for a coral blush, like look how pretty that looks. I'm honestly in love with this. I think this might be a new favorite blush. And I'm genuinely like really shocked like really shocked so this is definitely going to be a new fave and the highlighter looks so sickening i love a bold bright highlighter especially for my makeup looks on instagram i like it blinding and if it's not as blinding as i want it i'm obviously not going to pick it up again but i feel like i will be picking this up multiple times uh bronzer i feel like in the end with it blending with everything i think it looks so pretty like so pretty. I thought it was a tiny bit too dark in the beginning, but building it up and blending it, it ended up looking really nice. I like how it looks on my forehead. I really enjoy how it looks on my nose. I think it looks really pretty and I think it's definitely giving me that sun-kissed look that it does say it's doing. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you can like this video and subscribe to my channel it would be amazing. And if you can click that notification bell just to get notified every time I upload. I upload now on Tuesdays, Fridays and Sundays. I feel like I'm able to do that. I'm having so much fun doing this recently and I can't wait to get more content out for you guys. So yeah, if you guys have any ideas on what more videos you want to see from me i've already had a few in the comments like what you guys want to see so if you think it'd be good for me to do a five minute makeup challenge or something insane or just a full glam or a beginners like new makeup tutorial like if you want all of those like different ideas then definitely hop on into the comment section below and give me some suggestions so thank you guys so much so that's from me bye